My transition from male to female, support and envy. I never imagined that my journey to becoming Christina would be so complex and emotionally charged. As Chris, I had cherished friendships with a group of wonderful women, and we shared everything, from our deepest secrets to the most frivolous gossip. They knew me as their gay friend, and we laughed, cried, and supported each other through thick and thin. It was a time when I felt accepted and loved for who I was. But deep down, I knew there was something more to my identity. It took me years to come to terms with it, but I finally found the courage to be honest with myself and those around me. I realized that I wasn't truly the person they saw me as. I was a woman trapped in a man's body. As I nervously revealed my truth to my friends, to my surprise, they embraced me with open arms. They were supportive and cheered me on as I began my transition into Christina. Their initial reactions gave me hope that our bond would only grow stronger, that they would continue to be my allies in this new chapter of my life. At first, they were genuinely helpful, guiding me on fashion, makeup, and hair. I appreciated their support, believing that our friendship was unbreakable. But as the hormones started to work their magic, transforming me into the woman I was meant to be, I sensed a change in their attitudes. Jealousy crept into the dynamic, and it wasn't long before I noticed subtle shifts in their behavior. They became guarded, worried that their boyfriends might be attracted to me, their friend turned woman. The hurtful comments and false rumors about me spread like wildfire, making me feel exposed and vulnerable. The pain of their betrayal cut deep, and I struggled to understand why they couldn't accept me for who I truly was. I wasn't trying to steal anyone's partner, I was just trying to be myself, to finally embrace my authentic identity. But I wasn't going to let their cattiness and hurtful remarks define me. No, I was stronger than that. I had fought so hard to come this far, and I wasn't about to back down. I decided it was time to confront the situation head on. As I stood before them at a social gathering, dressed in my best, exuding confidence and grace, I knew this was my moment to reclaim my power. I looked them in the eyes, feeling the weight of every word, and spoke with conviction. I am no longer the person you once knew as Chris, I declared. I am Christina, and I will not be undermined or belittled by anyone. Their stunned faces spoke volumes, but I refused to let their reaction sway me. I had found my voice, and I wasn't going to be silenced anymore. I reminded them that true friendship should be built on acceptance, understanding, and support. As I walked away from that confrontation, I felt a mix of emotions, relief, empowerment, and a sense of liberation. It wasn't easy to stand up to my friends, but it was necessary. I had to protect my own happiness and well-being, even if it meant re-evaluating the dynamics of our friendship. In the days that followed, some of my friends came around, apologizing for their behavior and expressing their willingness to understand and accept the real me. Others, unfortunately, chose to walk away. And while it hurt to lose some friendships, I knew that this journey was about finding my true self, even if it meant making difficult choices along the way. Today, I can proudly say that I am Christina, unapologetically living my truth. The path hasn't been easy, but it has been worth it. I have learned the importance of self-empowerment, acceptance, and the courage to stand up for who I am. As I look ahead, I see a future that's brighter and more authentic than ever before. I may have left the shadow of my past behind, but I carry the strength of that journey with me, reminding me that I am capable of facing anything that comes my way.